Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 1.5 rename numbers and our essential question is how can you rename a whole number? Okay, so let's see this investigate You can regroup numbers to rename them So for example at letter A use large cubes and flats to model 1200 Draw a quick picture to record your model Okay, so we will use only the large cubes and flats to model the 1200. You see in this picture, you have a large cube, which is 10 flats or it's 1000. Okay, and if you remember the flat is 100. So we have two flats here, each is 100. So we have 1000 and 200 one large cube and two flats okay so to draw a quick picture we want to draw the real cube okay so we just draw a square like this and write the letter t this will be instead of the large cube which is 1000 and instead of the flat we will draw a square like this this will be the flat which is 100 and instead of the long we will draw just like one or a stick this means long which is 10 and for the one or the small cube we can draw just a circle or a small square okay so this will be the small cube or one okay so here to model the 1200 we need one large cube so we will draw the large cube like this square and inside the letter t then we need two flats so two flats so this is 1000 and these are 200 so the model shows one large cube and two flats so another name for 1200 is one large cube is 1000 and two flats is 200 okay so a little p use only flats to model the 1200 okay so we don't need large cubes here we said that 10 flats make the large cube so instead of the large cube here we will draw 10 flats so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten flats these are the 1000 or the large cube and we have our 200s or our two flats so we have a total of 10 and 2 12 flats so the model shows 12 flats or another name for the 1200 is 1200 12 flats is 1200 here we have another way you can use a place value chart to help rename numbers so here we have 500,000 see it has a lot of names here so let's see how did we get these names first if we start at the five this five is at hundred thousand so we we can say it's five hundred thousands what if we took one more zero we are now at the ten thousands so it's now in green 50 and we are in the 10,000, so it's a 50, 10,000. So we can say 50, 10,000. If we took one more zero, now we are at thousands. And we have in green 500. So we can say 500, and we are in thousands place, so 500,000. If we took one more zero, now we are in hundreds, and it's now in green, we have 5,000. It's five and three zeros. So 5,000, and we are in hundreds place, so 5,000 hundreds. Okay, if we took one more digit, 
so in green we have four zeros and the five so it's now fifty thousand so we can say it's fifty thousand and we are in the tens place so fifty thousand tens okay if we took one more zero this is the whole five hundred thousand and we are on the ones place so it's five hundred thousand ones okay so if you notice something we can say that ones means no zeros so it's actually the five hundred thousand so if he asked you the five hundred thousand equals how many ones you can say it's the same five hundred thousand ones okay but if he said tens the word tens is like one zero here we have one two three four zeros and the word tens is like the fifth zero and here the word hundreds you see you have here one two three zeros and the word hundreds is like two more zeros and here we have one two zeros and the word thousands is like three zeros here we have one zero and the ten thousands is actually like four zeros here we have five hundred thousand so the hundred thousand is like the five zeros okay so this can help you to solve the problems of today fast here write 32 hundreds on the place value chart below what is 32 hundreds written in the standard form in the standard form means in digits so let's write 32 hundreds so here is the hundreds, the hundreds stop right here, so we write the 32 like this. So, what about the tens and ones? We write zeros. So, the 32 hundreds are written in the standard form 3200. Or, as we said, that the word hundreds means two zeros. So, we can erase the word hundreds and write two zeros so it's a three two zero zero it means three thousand two hundred okay now for share and show rename the number draw a quick picture to help so in number one we have 150 okay so we have one at hundreds and five at tens so 100 means one flat and five tens means five longs one two three four five but here we want to rename it all in tens so instead of the flat i'll draw ten longs so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten longs so ten and five they are fifteen longs or fifteen tens so remember again guys the tens is with longs the hundreds flats the thousands large cubes here in number two 1400 so the one is at thousand so it's one large cube and the four at hundreds so it's four flats okay here we need it to be in hundred so instead of the large cube i'll draw 10 flats so 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so in total here we have 10 11 12 13 14 flats or 14 hundreds okay so here is a quick way if you just want to answer and don't draw the big chart we can say that tens means one zero so we cancel one zero and we still have the 15 so we write 15 here hundreds means two zeros so we'll cancel two zeros and we have the 14 so this is a quick way to solve these problems here at number three two thousands three hundred so two thousands means two large cubes and 300 means three flats we need it all to be in hundreds so instead of the large cubes we can draw 
10 flats 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and the other large cube will draw another 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so we have in total 10 20 21 22 23 flats or 23 hundreds here we have 13 hundreds so we will draw 13 flats 1 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 and here we need it to be renamed in thousands and hundreds okay so we know that 10 flats are 1000 so 10 of these flats are one large cube or 1000 so here we have 1000 and how many hundreds how many flats do we have left one two three flats or three hundreds so remember guys the 10 flats they make one large cube or 1000 okay here rename the number use the place value chart to help here we have 18,000 so let's use the place value chart so we will write 18 at thousands so thousands we will stop at here these are thousands so I write 8 1 here what do we have to the right we don't have anything at hundreds 0 times 0 1 0 so the number is 18,000 okay if we want to solve it without with the place value chart we can say that this is 18 and instead of the word thousand it's three zeros okay here 570,000 is 57 what so let's write the 570,000 in the place value chart here let's see 57 what okay so 57 it means we stopped at the 10 thousands so it's 57 10 thousands okay another way we can say that we have here 57 we have to write one two three four more zeros four zeros means 10,000 so remember three zeros means 1,000 four zeros means 10,000 okay rename the number let's do it fast 580 equals how many tens we said that tens means one zero so I'll cancel one zero I still have 58 so 58 tens is 580 here 740,000 is how many ten thousand if you remember thousands mean three zeros so ten thousands means four zeros so I'll cancel four zeros one two three four four zeros and I write the 74 so it's 74 ten thousands okay here eight hundreds four tens so eight hundreds and four tens is 40 so they are eight hundred and forty eight hundred and forty he wrote only eighty four so we still need one zero one zero means tens here we have twenty nine thousands so we can write the twenty nine and instead of thousands I can write three zeros okay this is one way we can rename it by many ways for example we can say twenty nine thousands ones or we can say two thousand nine hundred nine hundred means we still need one zero so tens tens is instead of one zero or we can say 290 290 we still need two zeros two zeros means hundreds hope this trick helps you guys okay hope you understand the lesson
and if you are in my class we will discuss what did you learn from this lesson on the live session and we will solve more exercises have a nice day and goodbye